so yeah, so for me, absolutely, the takeaway is um, if you're an individual, keep your eyes open and learn. Uh, look around you and realize that people don't know more than you because it's an emerging technology. If you're a part of an organization or you're leading an organization, make your best efforts to make that organization a learning organization. Create a psychological safe space for everyone to learn and provide the tools and the environment to, to do that. That's a bit of a cop-out. Well, it is a bit of a cop-out because that's great if you're in a leadership role and you can create a safe space. But if you're a software engineer that's I'm not an engineer, but if you're working on tickets on Jira, which you can't that you should be play, you can't do that, you know what I mean? So like if, if you're what's the absolute key thing that people need to walk away from here? If you're a software engineer. Pardon? If you're a software engineer. If you so, we don't need to get into like individual personas because we could be here all day, but like what what's the one thing that everyone should walk away thinking? So, so I think you need to use um, the tool, so you need to use the tools that are there for you. So for example, so you ask for examples. So I've used it in a group discussion, not discussion, a, you were, we think about teams and how teams should be structured and what's the best way to optimize for flow, thinking in terms of team topologies. And we used ChatGPT, for example, as a um, given this situation, what would you do? Um, so that's uh, one one use case. And the other one is, um, I think it looks like so GitHub Copilot is a massive for software engineers specifically is a massive advantage. And if you're not if you're not using them, using it, another software engineer will yeah. be using it. So. For example, I don't know, if you're interviewing for a company, ask them whether they allow you to use GitHub Copilot or not. I think that would be a good question to ask. If you're already at a company, ask your manager, is there any reason why they can't use GitHub Copilot and, and run with it? Okay. Uh, thank you. Key takeaway? Yeah, yeah. For me, it's work backwards from the answer. So if you know what you're asking ChatGPT for or BARD for, it's for the perfect post for LinkedIn, it's for a uh, business, business proposal or for idea generation. So ask it, what makes up the perfect business proposal? What makes up the, a, a creative LinkedIn post? What are the components of this? Can you write me a post for LinkedIn that uses these components? And you'll get that time back. So yes, you might not see the, the, the benefit immediately if you've just got one person who's putting a query into it, but if he's doing that for say 20 tickets or 20 emails that come through per day, there's a really long drawn out response in there, and there's just a question inside of it. ChatGPT, can you read this response for me? Or language learning model that's private and secure, can you read this response for me? And just tell me what is the question, what do I need to respond with? Could you maybe then recommend a response that I can go back with as well? And it's taking those parts back. I can maybe take you through my timeline of using AI. So my, in my last role, I was looking after a team of 14 people in the back of team, uh, monitoring team and infrastructure team for a large hosting provider. And ChatGPT had just become a thing, and we we're all looking at how, how, how can we use this to benefit us? And our first foray into it was, well, we need some documentation. So what have we not got documentation for? What are some of the things that keep popping up? And for us, it was combo, doing restores, backups, and restores for a Linux server. We had one or two people in the large board that didn't have the time to create the documentation. So ChatGPT was new for all of us. <coughs> Guys, why don't we do a quick brainstorm? Can you all go away for 15 minutes and come up with a prompt that gets a brilliant response for us? And that open dialogue then just opened up new doors for us for whenever there's a new question that people didn't have the answer to, we could explore it together. I then went on to build build a tool for charities to help them write bids for funding so they can access their services for cyber security training or website redevelopment. And I've got that tool available for them now that they can go on and use it or create the words for them. All of those behind the scenes is filter a couple of variables, put some props into it, and then I can then tell those GPT for free and give it back to them. Um, expand into social media tools I'm building at the moment. I can get a bit of change management requests. Like every change management has got a few components of the pre-implementation check, uh, implementation check, post-implementation, and rollback. If you could just put a few parts of that, ChatGPT, can you finish this for me? Can you help me complete this text? And that, that's where I've been using it. But the takeaway for me is work back from the answer. What are the components for the thing that you're trying to build? And then get it to fill in the blanks for the ones that you've not got just yet. Sorry, one, uh, one last thing. Um, don't quit your job and go and build a, a company based on their lens. <laughs> <laughs> that would be my suggestion. That would be the one takeaway. It's, it's, the hype is there and it's sort of true, but um, 
the value will be more in whether you keep your skill set um, up to date with the the rate of change of the technology, um, and you only get that with mm -hmm. learning and practice. I mean, they're high with Tinder, I'm still single, so... <laughs> 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 I, 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 I was, was going to say, I've uh, seen a podcast suggesting ways to use ChatGPT to improve your dating profile. Well, it can't be any worse. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, for me, the main takeaway, I mean, like we would all agree on all our points, I'm pretty sure, but uh, what I would add as a main takeaway is that uh, if you're an individual and you're trying to leverage in your life as an individual, there are literally, I mean, probably every day thousands of websites suggesting, here's a list of the 20 cool things you can do, you know, some are like, giving a link to a web page and saying, give me a summary or, or a scientific report, you know, summarize this scientific report, technical report, uh, summarize uh, the news from the last seven days or whatever, or uh, some earthquake. Uh, so summarizing, uh, comparing, uh, brainstorming and getting new ideas, you know, these are, you, you can experiment with as an individual, but if you're a company and you're trying to Leveraging, uh, leverage it for your own internal purposes, you know, like for software engineering or for um, even for your market marketing department. Some more ca careful thinking and planning it needs to. to so, so, I don't ask a third question. <laughs> <laughs> when you say that, like comparing, summarizing, contrasting, do you think there's a threat then that people just turn to tech? To do all of that for them, and that individuals lose their critical thinking skills, their analysis skills, their ability mm -hmm. to interpret data or interpret text. I mean, think of your English literature exam, right? You lose that. You just go to chat you can see it, so you can give me an answer on that. You don't learn anything. Right? So, do, do, do you feel in a way that you kind of make society a little bit dumber by creating tech that gives them the answers? I mean, I didn't create it myself, it's, yeah, also, yeah, it's, it's not my fault, but, 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 it's, but it's, it's true, I mean, uh, it's just like the social media, you know, uh, if all your friends are on Facebook, you need to go on Facebook, so uh, if, uh, sorry, it's horrendous. I know, it is horrendous, but, but I'm saying that, uh, say, say all your friends start using ChatGPT to write the report that you all need to work, uh, to write at work, you still need to curate it, to read it, to see whether it makes sense and whether yeah. it raises all the points that you have thought of. So you can use it as a draft and then use your critical skills and your creativity to make it perfect for you. So, uh, and, and I mentioned the example of that uh, university, I think it was in Canada, where they're using it for literature. And they say, you know, in this report that ChatGPT wrote, you know, comparing, I don't know, the, the, the works of these two romantic, English romantics. Oh, like Shakespeare by yeah. ChatGPT. Yeah, for example, you know, then you can, uh, if you use it to say, okay, it's saying this and that and that. Yeah, that's a good point, I hadn't even thought of that, but that is bullshit, you know. Mm. And also, if you, if you use a system that actually has links to the sources, these are the best, because for example, I've used, uh, I used, I used ChatGPT, the new Bing and Bard to compare the best business uh, bank account to open for something specific, and and I loved uh, the Bing response in particular because because it also had the links to the uh, to the articles for uh, uh, giving a reason why it was telling me you know that Monzo or Starling was better. <laughs>